Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan. I've been quite busy over the last several months, so I haven't done much casting, but recently I have cast two different objects, and I wanted to make a quick update on that, so that's what this video is about. This is a central fugal compressor for a jet engine a friend is building in a class. He designed this and asked me to help him cast it, so that's what I did. This is the pattern printed in Forum Labs, Castable Resin 40 on a Forum Labs printer. Here it is being applied to the sprue base with some sticky wax. I used the sticky wax just to create a good seam and a nice transition for the metal to flow smoothly from the pour cup into the pattern. Here's the pattern inside of the flask all taped up. I didn't get a video of me mixing the plaster, but here it is poured into the flask inside of the vacuum chamber. After it hardened, I removed the tape as well as the sprue base, and that's what you can see here. I then placed that in the burnout furnace to burn away all of the wax and plastic. After the burnout was done, I flipped over the flask to let any gases escape prior to pouring. The aluminum was provided by my friend, which he thoroughly cleaned, uh, and I also cleaned it a little bit in my furnace as well, using some borax and degassing it. I let the flask cool for quite some time, considering the volume of this cast, just to ensure that it had solidified thoroughly all the way through to the center. After that, I quenched it in some water, uh, I put some boric acid into this pattern to make it harder to hopefully fight any kind of thermal deformation uh, that may occur during cooling inside of the very thin fins, but the consequence of this was that it was very difficult to break the plaster out of the flask and to remove the part, uh, but after some effort I was able to, and this is what the cast looked like. There was a problem with the furnace in which it shut off, so it went through some strange thermal cycles which did create a crack in the pattern, but ultimately it turned out quite well. This is just a prototype, so we'll be casting it again, making some improvements from what we've learned, and I'll definitely update you all on that. The next thing that I have cast was rings. I am helping teach a section of my manufacturing class uh, on casting, uh, and all of the students designed these rings. I built out this tree and printed it in, again, the castable Wax 40 from Formlabs, printed it on a Formlabs 3D printer. That's what this looks like. I then removed the supports and attached it to the sprue base. I put it in the flask and again uh, mixed the plaster. My friend actually helped me weigh it out and mix it, which was nice. Uh, after we mixed it, we poured it in uh, and then put it in the vacuum chamber, which I didn't film, uh, but we went through the normal steps. After it hardened, we removed the sprue base and put the flask in the burnout furnace uh, overnight, after which we poured the metal, which I didn't film, but this is the result. Some of the rings turned out quite nicely. These are two of my favorite rings after a little bit of polishing. Uh, but it was a lot of fun to make, and I hope my classmates learned a lot. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.